All right, guys, we're back again this week with, uh, we're going to be doing grocery stores or stores that you could buy food from. Some of them kind of delve into other places like World Market, but yeah, for the most part, grocery stores we're going to be ranking this week. Yeah, market, some might say. That'd be, yeah, that's a pretty good uh, word to use for them. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Uh, we could start over here with Costco. Um, yeah. What's your opinion on Costco? I mean, I think we're starting super strong here. Like Costco is a one-stop shop, it seems. Like you have, so first off, I mean, stuff is cheap there because you can get it in bulk. And I understand that if you don't want things in bulk, that sucks. But like, and then, so yeah, I mean, maybe it loses something for that. But in general, I think it's usually okay to buy things in bulk. Um, on top of that, Costco has, and I don't know if we should be judging on this, but Costco has some epic food in their food court um like I love their pizza I think it's a little bit controversial but I think their pizza is actually really good like I would get it over maybe some pizza places who knows um yeah so overall I think Costco is epic uh like A or S probably S yeah, yeah I would agree Costco is a really great store but I'm gonna be like playing kind of like devil's advocate here because there's a few things about Costco that are kind of built to make you spend more. So one, they have the membership fee, which I, I understand right. that because obviously the prices are a lot lower. So that kind of makes up for itself. But the way that Costco works and the way like buying in bulk works is you're a lot quicker to validate a purchase because you're like, oh, if I buy this, I want to buy something ever again, like ever, because <laughs> it's yeah. so, like so much of whatever you're gonna buy. So like, at least when me and my family go, we leave with like carts stacked to the brim of shit that like, we didn't even think we needed. And mostly snacks, mostly food stuff. But I think if we had just gone to like Walmart, we would not have gotten nearly as much and we would have left spending much less. So for that reason, I think Costco shouldn't be quite ass because it has a few things that are a little bit kind of uh, a little like, what's the word I'm looking for? um scummy yes a, a little devious i'll use yeah but yeah i think costco is still a really good store and a really good place to get your stuff and yeah i will add the pizza is really good like you said like surprisingly good yeah yeah <laughs> it really shouldn't be um anyways yeah. uh grocery outlet i uh, i'm gonna keep it real here i don't think i've been to grocery outlet all i know about them is their commercials um mm -hmm. and what do you think about that um that gives me a positive opinion about grocery outlet um yeah yeah <laughs> so maybe higher than c is what i would say yeah i think grocery outlet is a pretty epic store i would honestly put it either a or s because one the commercials are just amazing the, the like whole jingle that they have is really catchy and like you i hadn't gone there until i moved out to go to college because we had one near us so i could always just walk to it and they have a lot of stuff there that's like really cheap. Like, you know, Halo Tops, how they normally go for like five bucks. Mm -hmm. You could get it there for like $2, which is Thanks. extremely cheap compared to other stuff. But the thing about Grocery Outlet is a lot of times they won't have everything. I think the way that they work is they buy surplus and that's why they're able to sell stuff for so cheap. Right. So I think that's a pretty good like um, business model. They are able to sell things for really low or really cheap. Um, so I think if you're looking for a bargain market, <laughs> grocery outlet is uh, your place. Um, I'd put high A, low S. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could stick it in high A right now. All right, cool. cool. Um, Kmart next. Yeah. Um, Kmart. I really have no strong opinions about Kmart. Um, I feel like it's just a place you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nothing particularly good or bad. I feel like it's a C. Yeah, Kmart is like the Walmart version Walmart, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, it's so like it's just like it's there, but like Walmart's kind of just like objectively better. And I feel like they died off. I think like as Walmart was like getting more popular, they just kind of like disappeared. Yeah, like I, is there one in our area or no? There definitely used to be, but it like died. And I, I think I know maybe of like one that I like consistently go to like when we go to Tahoe there's always a Kmart around there and I think it wasn't there last year when we went so I, I think Dang. Kmart's pretty much going extinct um okay where should we put it cd 
C or D, I'm fine with either. Let's do D. We uh, we can try <laughs> a little bit. Um, next up, Rayleigh's. Did you go to Rayleigh's a lot? Uh, not a lot. Confirmed this. My suspicion is that it's like a little higher end, maybe. I would, um, yeah, I think it's similar to Safeway in terms of yeah. like rankings. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, from what I can remember, I think it's like a nice place, but not like a place you would want to go too much, you know? Maybe, yeah. you know, let's say you are staying in some other city for some reason and, you know, you just see a Rayleigh's. I can see why you would go there, but I honestly can't really think of why I would want to specifically go to Rayleigh's unless there was a lack of other foods or yeah. markets. Yeah, uh, me and my family used to go to Rayleigh's a lot when we were younger, but I think that was mostly just because we lived like right next to one. So it was more of like out of convenience. Um, I wouldn't say they have anything that other places don't. What I do hear though, is that their sandwiches are really good. Like, you know, a lot of places they'll have like sandwich bars. Right. I hear that they're like insanely good, but I haven't tried it for myself. So I won't t- weigh that in. But um, with that being said, I'd put Rayleigh's at like a high C, low B maybe. Yeah, let's do B. B? All right, Rayleigh's in low B. Uh, Safeway. A big name, probably the biggest one we've had so far. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you just did make the Rayleigh's Safeway comparison, but yeah, I think Safeway's is just kind of like a nicer place. It's like, it's like a nice gas station, sort of. Because um, I feel like it's a little bit different from, you know, something like Walmart or Costco in terms of what you have there. Like, I feel like there's not a, as wide of a variety as f- of foods but they do have like maybe some other stuff um that isn't food there um like they'll have like candles maybe uh i'm I, i'm not sure maybe it, it doesn't seem strange to me that they would yeah yeah they do yeah i'm just thinking there's one close to my college um okay. and yeah i think it's a nice place mm-hmm. uh i would rank it higher than Rayleigh's. uh okay. simply because I've been there more. Um, yeah, B or an A. Yeah, I think Safeway is like the most bougie of like the basic groceries. Right. You know what I mean? Like without going into like the ones we have coming up, Trader Joe's and World Market, those are more like bougie kind of things. Mm-hmm. Whereas Safeway is just like a grocery store and it doesn't try to be more than that. Um, I would put it top of A, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. Ah, okay. I personally wouldn't put it above Costco, but I understand, like, I'm okay with you doing so. Okay. Um, so what if I put it here instead of top of A, just in the middle? So it's right next to Sure. Top. Okay. Sure. Cool. Um, Target is next. Yeah. Um, might be a winner, IMO. Um, okay. I think Target is, like, it's a little bit nicer than Walmart, <laughs> but, like, not super nice or anything like that so and it it just has like everything in the same way that walmart has everything um yeah i think target is great i think target is s i like i feel like you know if you made me feed myself for a week and gave me unlimited money i would probably just go to target even though there are more bougie places like target would have everything and it's just like a little nicer than walmart yeah, I feel like going to Target's like an experience, you know, like I always have a good time there. They're a lot nicer than Walmart, but what I will say for Target or for uh, against Target for Walmart, well, really you can look at this both ways. I think you would have to make a sacrifice when you choose Target over Walmart. And when you go to Target, you pay like a decent amount more than when you're going to Walmart, but you definitely get a better experience. It's like less messy. It's a lot like it has a lot more stuff and a lot more like good quality things. So you have to kind of weigh that out when you're doing like choosing between the two. Uh, personally, I think if I have the money, it's worthwhile. So yeah, I'd put Target in this. I think it deserves it. Two more points before we move on from Target. Go on. Number one, the food. Have you had the pizza, the like small pizzas? The ones that they have at the, uh, like the little things near the front? yeah yes yes so those i think are really good like 
they're like they shouldn't be but they are um furthermore at that same like location that we're talking about at the front of target they have the ices um yeah i was gonna say the ices as well exactly and those <laughs> oh my god those are so good in my opinion. Ices, but just the fact that target has them <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> they don't make them better or anything but exactly. they, they have them and it's it's so good um and then the other thing is just from our personal experience i feel like there were a lot of times where we just went to target yeah exactly and it's we just, didn't even like get anything yeah i mean i guess we're just loitering teens but um like you said it was an experience and that's my defense of target yeah i agree i definitely think target deserves yes um uh trader joe's is next we can look you want to start this one? Yeah. Um, so Trader Joe's is a place I didn't really go too much growing up. I started going there more when I moved out to go to college because my roommate really liked it. So we would go there a lot. It has some nice things, but I would never really go there on my own because I don't really go for like that kind of stuff. It's, it's kind of like a, like organic and like healthy foods, you know, and while like that's not like a bad thing and I would go there if it was cheaper like I said it's just expensive and I feel like it's kind of pointless to be honest Mm -hmm. there's really nothing that I would like I would never go to Trader Joe's like a list of like foods that I need for like the week and like pick them up there I would just get them from like Target or Walmart so for me Trader Joe's is just kind of unnecessary but nice Mm -hmm. to have I guess if you want like a organic things like if you're into that then I think Trader Joe's is a great place but yeah yeah yeah, um, I am not a huge fan. I totally agree that it's it's all about this like organic thing yeah. that I'm just not super into. Um, I, I guess I can understand. I don't know if they have like a lot of vegan stuff. If that's your, uh, yeah, your vibe, then maybe. I don't know, but that's not me. Um, the one thing I can think of that Trader Joe's has that other places don't have, which is which I do like, is cookie butter or stuff like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what your experiences is. I, experiences is are. Sorry, say that again. What is that? Cookie butter? Yeah. Imagine peanut butter, but cookie. Okay, that's what I thought, and it sounds very... <laughs> so you just scoop it up, and it's like cookie? Yeah. I oh. mean, it's, it's sort of like cookie dough, but, you know, with the awesome. texture of, like, peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's okay. something that Trader Joe's has that's really okay. good. Um, for that, I think it's like a B, maybe. A low B, the lowest to be. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think if we were people that appreciate that kind of stuff more, it would probably be an S. I know, so I know a lot of people who hold Trader Joe's as like the uh, <laughs> the best <laughs> that there is. Yeah, but yeah, it's just not us. I don't think. Um, so yeah, next up, another big name, Walmart. Right. Our man. <laughs> um, Walmart's gonna have to be like in the S tier, like. Yes. there's no way we're we're doing anything different i mean it has everything um yeah it having everything that's just one sentence but that carries such an impact um and also it has everything for like a reasonable price um which yeah makes yeah. it way better um i don't have much unique to add about walmart except for the fact that i think that they do food super well um like the deli at walmart mm-hmm. like the have you ever had the like general styles chicken at the deli i literally got that like two weeks ago <laughs> it's so good in my opinion i think it's really good mm-hmm. furthermore they have like popcorn chicken um which can be good uh and they even have the bakery where you can get like ready-made donuts right there yeah. um i think i think you could feed yourself for like like i could go there for a week and eat there every day and be happy i think um which, you know, is a defensive Walmart, but still, I don't think I'd put it above Target. Okay. Um, personally, Walmart is where I go for everything. If I need groceries, if I need anything, I go to Walmart. Um, they have all the foods that I need. Like you said, the deli is fire. Um, the little donuts that they make every day, amazing. And they also have, like, toys. They have, like, gaming systems, everything like that. And it's, like, the cheapest you can get without, like, going to like somewhere like grocery outlet where like they like do a like buy surplus you know like you can get everything consistently from walmart for cheap prices and for that i think it deserves first place i understand that you have to sacrifice um 
the experience, I guess, when you go to Walmart, because I mean, I don't really know how to describe it. Like Walmart's just dirtier than Target, I guess, is the way to put it. But I think that that experience is worth paying decently less, to be honest. And actually going back to the deli, I love that stuff. I go like every week when I go to get groceries, I pick something up from there. And like, that's my meal for the day. Like even Safeway, when I used to get groceries off from Safeway and they have an excellent uh, uh, little bakery deli type thing where you can just get a bunch of stuff like that. I think any store that has something like that, like definitely like deserves a plus in my eyes. But I understand that a lot of people don't like that kind of food. <laughs> I think that we might just be like goons, you know? <laughs> But yeah, yeah well, we're total doofuses because we dissed the Trader Joe's food, but yeah. now we are in love with the Walmart deli yeah, food. Fried chicken. <laughs> um, well, I don't know what to say. You've, like, it's just you've, you've convinced me. We can put Walmart as number one. Good, good, yeah. Walmart is the king. Um, next up, Winko. Uh, you can go ahead and talk about Winko. Yeah. Um, to me, it's like sort of a cheaper place. Um, okay which is good if you need that. Um, they have like this aisle where there's a bunch of different candies and it's one of those, you know, those cereal machines where you pull it and then you get the cereal. I know it's that, mean. but candy. Um, yeah, I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Which is the only thing that I can really say about it. I think there's a bakery there too. Mm -hmm. um, I have no thoughts about it other than those two things. But those two things are, are pretty memorable. Um, and I would put it at the top of B. Although, yeah, yeah, the top of B. Yeah, I'm, I've never went, so I'll just take your word for it. Um, next up, well, to finish this off, actually, we have World Market. Yeah, you want to go ahead? Um, sure. Uh, so, yeah, I like World Market a lot. I think it's similar to Target in that, you know, you kind of just go there for the experience. Um, but they also have like, you know, I know I roasted Trader Joe's super hard, but I feel like world market while having sort of preppy stuff has like a different type of preppy stuff. Like mm -hmm. Trader Joe's like screams organic to me, but yeah. world market sort of screams specialty. Like I would get cream soda from there. Mm -hmm. Um, which is like something that I don't think most places have. And... They had like a bunch of different types of candy. Like they have Toblerone, which you yeah. don't really see all the time. Um, yeah, to me, this was like the bougie version of stuff that I actually like, as opposed to Trader Joe's, which is like the bougie version of stuff I don't like. Um, yeah. Which makes me feel the world market is like an A or an S. Yeah, I agree. World market has a really cool thing because their whole gimmick is like they get stuff from like, well, they get as much stuff as they can from like other countries other places you know so like i have a lot of family like in australia and like the middle east and so i can get some of the treats that i have there all the time from world market if i really want like um i think it's called crunchy it's like the uh chocolate bar with like honeycomb on the inside mm -hmm. that's something that you can like never find here uh like it's only like when i go to australia it's like the only time i get it when i come back i like stock up on that stuff because i really like it but if I go to World Market, I can just grab a, a, a crunchy bar there. Like, and I think that's crazy. Um, so yeah, I think World Market definitely has a good thing going for them. Plus they also have like furniture and like household stuff, which is like weird. Like that combo to me is like really strange. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk shit on it, you know? It's great. Yeah. yeah S is deserved. World Market is a great place. I know we used to go there all the time and just like hang out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a very good list. I think this is the best take we've had. I agree. Um, although the, maybe one of the more controversial ones. Uh, I honestly, the only controversial thing in my opinion is Trader Joe's. But yeah, I think uh, everything else is pretty much just uh, pretty straight facts. Yeah, I think a lot I of also we'll talk about like a lot of people try to talk bad about Walmart. I think that might be another point of contention. Yeah. Go ahead. If there's one thing I disagree with, actually, it's I think Costco should also be an S. But this is the compromise we have made. I am okay with it. I'll agree to put Costco an S. Um, but let's move Safeway to the head of A. If that's okay with you. Okay. 
yeah yeah it definitely is like a a really good niche mm -hmm. yeah i'm happy with this i also want to point out that the only place without a red logo is walmart so i was thinking about that before you came yeah so yeah i think that's pretty much it Do you have anything else to say no all right well we'll catch you guys next week don't forget to like and subscribe peace